Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am sharing with you day 23 of the January Creative Prompts. This is a collaboration inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Robin Fennessy wrote up the prompts, and then I'm executing these to give you ideas on creating journal pages and then writing in your journal. And I hope that you're inspired to write in them. You know, you can go back and watch the other videos to catch up. I feel that these are prompts this month anyway that aren't necessarily tied to the actual day. You can just go back and do those journal prompts and you don't have to do them in January. So if you're finding this later on in the year, just have fun with this and share inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Also check the description box below for other connectors to my Instagram and my Facebook fan page and my blog, as well as any products that I use. And I appreciate you watching. So give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, comment below if you have any comments or questions. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. All right, so today, use scraps of paper to create today's junk journal page. What rituals do you have? Some have a bedtime ritual. Some have a morning ritual. Write about one of those rituals. So we're going to start with scraps of paper to create junk journal page today. So I'll move this out of the way. So I've got, this is my next page in my book. If you haven't been following along, I made a loose bound journal so that I could take my pages in and out. And then at the end, I will bind it permanently so they'll stay in my journal. I've grabbed a few scraps of paper here, just a few little bits and pieces. And I thought it might be kind of fun to use these pieces to decorate this page. And then I've got one of these little tear off note back uh, piece, pages. You know, you could use a scrap of paper that has writing space on it. You could use a notebook paper. You could use copy paper, whatever you can find. If you have an index card, something like that. So this will fit on here. And I'm thinking maybe something like that. I don't need all of these scraps, but I thought I would kind of play around and see what I could do to make this journal page. So I'm just going to kind of lay these all out, kind of making a pattern and seeing how this comes together. I think if I kind of decorate it like this, and then I could put this piece in this upper corner, and that all comes together. So I'm going to adhere all of these together. I'm going to put a piece of paper in my journal just to protect it in case I get any glue on my page. And I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue to glue it down. I think right before I do so, I'm going to go ahead and use some Distress Ink around the edges. Just going to use a lean's tacky glue to glue it down. So I got the scraps glued down, and I think what I want to do is I want to stamp on this piece. So I've got the shabby stitches here and some jet black archival ink. I'm just going to stamp all the way around the outside edge. All right, I think that looks pretty good, and we're going to glue that right on top here. I've got a little bit of washi tape and I thought that might look kind of neat to add a little interest. So I'm just going to grab it and rip it and then just kind of add it across here. Now to write about my ritual. So let me do that and then I'll be right back. So for January the 23rd, we were to use scraps, which I did. You saw it. I did it. <laughs> I used some rubber stamps as well. And then we are to write about our rituals. So my bedtime rituals, wash my face, set out the next day's clothing, fill the diffuser with peppermint, lavender, and lemongrass essential oils, set up sleeping music, and then I find doing these things before I go to bed helps me rest and to have a great start to the next day. So I, over the years, I've just learned that if I wash my face, I know that's clean. I can go to bed with a clean face. And then I'm like, okay, I'll put out my clothing. That's all ready. So when I get up in the morning, all I have to do is just put it on. I don't have to worry about what was I going to wear, where, you know, what's the next thing I need to do. 
adding the essential oils really helps me sleep at night lavender peppermint as well as lemongrass are just soothing scents and i like that i can fill my bedroom with that scent and then the sleeping music i'm a light sleeper so noises wake me up and i found that if i turn on sleeping music which is a series of one of them is like a whole bunch of little sounds and then the other one is just a really light melody of music and it's on repeat all night long that way if something odd pops up i don't really notice it too much so i don't wake up if i don't have it on so again those are some of my rituals that i do i hope you enjoyed seeing a way to make your journal page and that you are inspired to create i hope you'll share it within the friendly junk journal people facebook group do check the description box for the link below and again thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please feel free to ask. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.